and what is going on YouTube? Just another gaming channel bringing you just another video. So guys, we've got oh another armor video, but this is a bit older. This is the shelter in place armor by the Titan. Now I might have done this when I had this armor originally, but I don't think I ever did it, and I could be wrong, so I apologize for that. But um, I've got all the ornament sets for it, so I'm going to be showing the original armor set. With the, ability, uh, with the obligatory uh, description and the odd shaders, then the um, the, sec the the very first ornament set is called the Take Shelter ornament, and the third ornament set is the Steadfast Titan ornament set. So we're going to look at all three armor suits in all three ornaments, uh, see which we like best, apply a few shaders, and whatnot. So I apologise if. I've shown this before. Um, so I've had this. I've had this set before, but um, I, I um, actually got rid of it due to space concerns, and then I could never really make my mind up if I liked it or not. But, but it turns out I do like it. So uh, the Shader in Place armor set. Um, you know, uh, let's look at the flavor text. Where is your home? That is where you fight the hardest, Zavala. So we'll look at the helm up there. So the usual Titan standard uh, helmet, looking pretty damn cool there, looking beefy and tough as hell. Um, not quite sure how I feel about this, this turquoise type difference of head plate compared to the blues and oranges. I'm not quite sure. I suppose it does make it stand out, but um, I, don't know. I like the usual design though. Um, you can tell it's Titan without looking at it too much, and I'm not going to go into too much detail. Guys, uh, you guys that watch know that I've got multiple uh, degrees in design, so I'll go into this in some detail. But what's the point, eh, fellas? Let's just rock and roll it. So, that is the helmet. Okay, you get to see the beefy shoulders coming in there. Oh. Never get the, uh, never quite get the uh, buttons right on this. So, let's have a look at the arms of gauntlets, the shelter in place guns. Some armor doesn't protect you so much, it just makes the dying gets slower. See, I don't remember this flavor text, so maybe I've not done it. I could be wrong. Um, so you can see a bit of the chest plate there, which we'll look at in a minute. But I quite, I quite like it. I like the the sort of mechanicalization of it, um, the futurization of the piece. But um, the arms are pretty interesting. These huge chunky square arms. I assume in um, probably used for storage. Um, emergency rations. I'd say like an emergency kit, but you know, guardians come back from death. But I suppose you could carry an emergency kit for other humans caught in the crossfire, maybe. I don't know. At the very least, supplies, food, water, nutrients, all those things, extra ammo, spare ammo. Um, one of them's got this like ribbon on it, um, so this could be like a, something to commemorate somebody by. Um, Maybe his house or a close dear friend who died, and so there could be a personal touch there. I do like the fact that they're asymmetrical, even if it's something small like that. So there, are the arms and shoulders, pretty beefed up, pretty protective. So look at the flavour text on the chest piece. The armour won't stop a cabal round, but just buy some time before you die. <laughs> okay, um, so it's a pretty beefy set of armour. This. Um, I like the colours, I really do like the colours, I love the detailing, um, I love how, how it all seems to like, oh, these clasps here that seem to totally embed into the armour, it seems like, you know, you can see the, the sort of dead bolts and how it would all slot together and, and kind of you can see parts mechanical and maybe parts digital and hydraulic and mechanical all in one, like a Robocop suit. Is it all like all like presses in together to form the armor? It's finally closed. Um, we got some this off. So I think the armor set is the chest piece is particularly nice. Um, it slims down, uh, giving the the player more movement speed when he needs to curve on the on the wrists and the and the base. Um, you can see the huge clasps that click onto the back there. Helping keep the armor in place. Um, I just love the the blue and the orange. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is underneath. I wonder if it's like ballistics or like proofing or something like that. I'm not quite sure. 
Um, you can see the like undergarment, including like back of the arms and and uh, the torso. Uh, I'm guessing this is some sort of thermalized um, and protective material against weather and even like maybe knife abrasions or some type of. It's probably got some type of combat capability. This material. Um, but I'm guessing it's more for comfort and ease and being able to move around wearing this huge piece of uh, um, armour. Um, so, look at the legs. The each of us have many lives to give for the city and the traveller's gift. The city is the traveller's greatest gift, Zavala. So, the more lives you got to give, the better, according to Zavala. So, yeah. Um, I like the Titan boots. Again, uh, remind me of like Robocop. You can imagine a gun just popping out there where his hand is, like, whoosh, you know, like pulling out like a burst pistol, just like in Robocop films. Um, I like the design of, I like the shape of, of this armor, I like the design all the way through, like these sort of sharp triangles and hexagons. And um, it reminds me of Halo a little bit, to be honest. But um, you've got that undergarment material, you see the knee. Had totally separated on the joints that are giving full maximum mobility rather than uh, you know twaddling along. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these these boots. Um, we have a quick look at the uh, the mark of shelter. Titans are both shelter and storm. So this is. Um, So if we have a look, this is what this is what it looks like in its original colour with no um, ornaments whatsoever. So we'll have a very quick look at some colours, guys. I mean, really quick um, because we've got a lot to get through. So the Vanguard Unity. I don't know. This might be what it's colour does at the moment. I could be wrong. I think this is more intensive. Wow, that's pretty cool. I like is it that really cool orange? That's really cool with those twigs of blue. That's pretty damn impressive. Um, something about that. It's almost tempting. But I don't know how that would affect the other the other module, the other ornaments, you see. Um, so if we have a look at one of the dead orbits. That looks pretty cool. I checked this out earlier in one of the uh, later ornaments and it looks, looks really damn cool. Uh, so this is one of the new dead orbits. Um, it's very unusual. I've got to try that out eh, on, on uh, when we've got the ornaments on. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So look at the monochromatic real quick. We'll have a look at some generics. That's not too bad. That's pretty interesting. It's that blue helmet though is putting me, putting, it, putting me off. I've got to say. Um, so look at Arctic Dream Skate. Look at Braytex Winter Wonderland. Nah, it works on her set, and pretty much that's about it. Um, so I've got the war cult scheme. Let's see how this works. Da -da -da. <laughs> okay, not the best. Uh, let's have a look at. Um, let's, have a look at let's look at the genotype null zero. Um, not too bad. Just that blue helmet again. So anyway, um, we'll have one look at the regalia. But as you can see, um, a lot, of, a lot of, uh, a lot of things don't really go with this model, right? So, so anyway, um, oh, actually, let's have one quick look at Crucible Triumph because I think this is really, really orange. I think, wow, look at that! That's really orange. It's kind of so orange; it's slightly disgusting, uh, but you know, kind of cool. Uh, anyway, if I pull back out of that, so. So guys, this is this is the original, okay? This is the original set. It's not a bad looking set. Now what I'm going to do is apply the first ornament. We're going to have like 10 seconds looking at it as I've applied it to the helmet. And then we're going to move on, okay? So we apply this and boom, you can see. So straight away we've got color change, uh, totally blacked out. We've got a radio receiver on the helmet, much more detailing. Um, but we, we kind of want to get through this now. So actually that helmet looks better than than the original, to be honest. So we're looking at the arms now. So we've got that blue with the ribbon, the blues, grey gloves. 
And now we've got a total change there. Still using the blues, but changing patterns there. And this side's totally faded out now. Um, we've lost the blues and we've gone to beiges on this side, so that's quite interesting. Um, okay, so now we've got the chest piece. So remember the chest piece with all these mechanical bits and you know all it interlocked with that. Uh, there's blues and oranges. So if we have a look at the uh, take shelter ornament piece. So there we go. We've got see it's even lit up now. So we're starting to get. Um, You've lost some of the detailing. Got you've gone to this beige and and like brown and oranges. We're still just a little bit of blue coming through there. It's quite interesting. Um, how that's changed. Um, if we get the boots, then remember the boots on the original blue. We have a look at the take shelter ornament and the legs there. Yeah, so we've gone. Uh, we've kept some of the blue. It's changing. It's changing the the way the logo runs down the body all the way down, and we've got beige on the bottom here. Look, um, that's quite interesting. So that's what it looks like um, at the moment. But even the uh, even the mark can change. You see, so in its current state, is its original, and then we can change that. And uh, so it's gone short, shorter and darker and blue. And you can see the uh, the diagonal lines look um, that follow uh, the entire design of it so this is the second uh, well the very first ornament set um, I don't know if it's as good as the first one but there's definitely a change there a noticeable change some bits are definitely cooler uh, real quick guys real quick we're gonna get to we're gonna have a quick look at some some colors really quick so let's the, the vanguard unit again that bright orange and blue let's see how this looks with that so that actually looks really good. See, I think we could get away with that. Um, I really think we could get away with that. Looks really clean. Looks big and tough and solid. It's like he's kicking ass. Yeah, I like the look at that. Um, now with that, let's have a look at the uh, the cru Crucible Triumph again. With all orange and white. That's a bit too much white there this time. It's a bit. It was overpowering last time, but it's a bit overpowering, and, but it still kind of looks cool. It's still got like a, still got a look to it that's kind of cool. Um, okay, so the new Monarchy Regalia, Data at Work. It's too rose, too rosary and metallic for me. Rosary, red and gold just doesn't work for me, guys. I don't know. I don't know about you. I'm not. Tr I'm trying not to stay too long because I know uh, we've got an entire ornament to look at. So the Dead Orbit Resurrection doesn't look too bad there, doesn't look too bad. Um, what about the, see the Dead Orbit Vision, the new one, I wonder how this looks on all the different ones. Like, it'd be interesting. So it's very unusual, it's very weird. It's a very weird look. Um, so we had... Oh, Iron to Steel, let's, see, let's have a look at some Iron Banner stuff, how does that work? We're gonna get some, we're gonna get some silver here. Ooh, look at that! This kid's breastplate looks like it's been caved in loads of times. I call it damage and dints in arms and that. It's quite interesting how they put all the kind of marking and scarring in there. Don't like it personally. Don't like it, you know that color scheme is not particularly nice. So I remember with um. So with the faction rally, so we had this war cult camo, yeah. Okay, and then, then we had a new one, didn't we? we had the war cult scheme, but we had another one. There was another one. I'm sure you got. It's very unusual looking that. So remember, this is the second ornament set, guys. So it does look a little bit different. Um, so quick look at new monarchy diamonds. Again, oh, it's, it's a little bit better due to the the solid burgundy red, uh, but the red and gold, I don't know. Um, quick look at monochromatic. I think that looks very cool. I've got to say, yeah, that that looks very cool. That does. Uh, you got the greys um, and the whites with that tiny that strip of orange in there. That's really cool. That. So. Um, the Metro Shift. This works on only two 
There's only two arm sets this works on. Is this one of them? That's not too bad actually. Usually it's just too much blue, but that's really yeah, that's pulled off. That's pulled off, that's nice that. Okay, so as so much as I want to keep going. Okay, one quick look at the Hake camera, guys. Come on, because this works on the on one of the sets. This weird 70s kind of cool look, camouflaged. I like the the asymmetrical look. You got like one 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 arm orange, and the rest is like this beige camo, and you got orange boots, but an orange chest, but the rest of it's all beige. That's kind of cool. It's got a cool look to it. So anyway, guys. So this is the this is the this was the second um, this is the second ornament with uh, no shade. That's that's with its original shader on. So again, we're going to go back in. We're going to apply the third shader, the third ornament. Sorry, uh, no colors have been applied. Obviously, we'll see how this changes. Okay, so you can see the change straight away. Um, so remember. Oh, it faded out one of these arms and it looks like we're going for a darker orange this time. Yeah, we've gone for this really nice deep orange and whites. We've gone, you know, uh, for orange and whites at the moment. So you can see a little bit of a change starting to happen there. Um, this is the steadfast armor set. I mean, yeah, the air, ooh, that was, it's very trim, it's very looking very spink, spick and span, brand new almost. Um, it's looking very cool. Oh, do you know what I didn't change? Sorry, do you know what I didn't change on the last one? I didn't change... Oh, I did change that. No, my bad. I did change that. Okay. So let's get to the uh, get to the, the legs. We're going from the blues to what we've got. Oh, solid orange. Very nice. Very nice. Um, now you could say that's finished there. I mean, that looks pretty good. And you've got this... Uh, you've got the, the, sh the tie, the, the Titan mark. What, what does it look like when it's in its ornamented version? So we've got a, a solid long blue. So we've got a solid long blue in its current form, or we could have the shorter version. Could mix and match. How's that looking? Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Let's see what it's like in its original. I think it's long and orange. Which I, I kind of think I like, to be honest. I'm not, I could be wrong. Come on, apply yourself. Yeah, so I don't know. I to, oh, it's a bit too orange, isn't it? It's like a different sort of orange. Yeah, I think we'll stick. We'll, we'll do everything right. We do like to do everything as right as possible. So we'll apply the third bond there. So... I think the... Uh, the so... The steadfast Titan arm armor ornament set, I think, is my favourite, and then the take shelter one is, yeah, I think the take shelter one's better than the original, but I think this is probably, I think this is the best looking one. What I don't know about you guys, but um, definitely the best ornament set out of the three, I think. Um, and if we really quickly, guys, we'll try and get in some some colours. So. Let's have a look at Vanguard colours now that it's already a solid bright orange. So so that's the colour it's wearing. The Vanguard Unity is its standard colour. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, what about the, the older Vanguard stuff? It's a bit, a bit mankier. How's that going to work out for it? It's not, that's pretty cool actually, you know, it looks like it's been through wear and tear. It's got the blue out instead of the orange, it's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can find some Vanguard things first. Go through those, Vanguard Discipline. See how we're going on that one. Not bad, solid black. Again, it's been through some, been through a beating. Maybe that's why it's got the word Discipline after it, it's like, you know. Getting lines on, you've been through some shit. Uh, okay, we've got the Crucible Triumph, guys. The favourite. No, not having it. Not having it. Man, back on Destiny. Can't wait. You know, I never looked at the new Monarchy Allegiance. Let's have a quick look. Very unusual. Um, I really liked the new ornament for the new Monarchy armour, and I never got around to getting it. And 
because I, I, I just didn't play, man. I was out. I was too, I was out of it. Um, that's a real shame. So we've got Dead Orbit Resurrection here, guys, on the latest ornament set. Let's have a look. That looks pretty damn good, I gotta say. It's hard to it's hard to choose a colour sometimes, don't you think, guys? As many shit ones as there are, there's still enough good ones. Where ah, now this is the war cult. This is the other war cult one. That this one's really nice on war cult stuff, um, especially on the hunter. If you get the cape right, you can do all sorts of things. And that is, I really like that for some reason. I'm not sure why I like that so much, but I do. Very, very beautiful lilac going against that white. Um, that's really interesting. That. Uh, what we got here then? So, ooh, what we got? Let's have a look at. Ooh, shall we cut the xenon silver? Keep this stuff around. I don't think I've ever used it. Never used it. Oh, actually, is that the first time it actually looks good on something? Sort of good on something. I think it might do. Okay, dawn and dusk, guys. We've got to do it. Dawn and dusk. You the man. Yeah, man, yeah, I'm vampire hunting in my dawn and dusk uh, shader leaders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I look cool. So, did we check the monochromatic? I think we did. I think we did. No, we didn't. Whoa, look at that shit. Oh, God, that looks storm. That looks cool as hell, man. That is Stormtrooper. Eat your heart out. Wow, that's so fucking cool. Man, I'm tempted to just apply that now. Just because that shit is so cool. I do like the original colour though, I really do. Alright, let's have a look at the the hake. How does this work? Would you stop? Let's go somewhere else. That's really cool, but it leaves that, that brand new white. That's kinda cool though. That monochromatic down that looks good. Um I never bother look at the the like the, the you know the vex stuff because it's all really crap usually. Wow, that's cool though. That's pure white with a little bit of gold trim. That's interesting. So I really like the original color though. This is a problem you see. But we start looking at some of the vex stuff, and because it normally looks pretty crappy, we might have problems. We actually having some vex stuff looking good. Um so daily tasks underway. Have we got anything? My shift was supposed to end an hour ago. What's going Registered. on? My programming tells me. I'm telling you something else. Let's have a look. Just can't look very good. Wow, actually not too bad. You know what? This seems to be pulling out like the best versions of, of the shaders. It's pretty interesting. Don't worry, it's not like yeah, it's amazing. Now, predictable. That precursor, though, eh? There are tasks to be That's pretty interesting, that. You know what I think? You gotta get. Guys, leave some. I know it's late on, but leave some comments. Tell me what your favourite shader is. I like the precursor a lot. Okay? I really like the precursor Vex Chrome. Really like that. Okay? I also really like the original, which I'll just show you again. The Vanguard Unity. Looks a bit ordinary, but it's like some not many people wear don't wear stuff like this. Because it's so bold and whatever. Um I really like the monochromatic guys. Let's get that back up there, come on. I really like that. Um not sure which I like best between that and the Vex. Um We should have we should have more vex. We should have a lot more vex now. I must have been deleting. So I must have deleted a lot of vex stuff. So let's have a look at the. So we looked at dead orbit. Let's have a look at like the the older ones. Okay, this is these are season season before last. Dead orbit's fate there. It's like um, yeah, warm black and white. And then we've got a camo version here. The new dead orbit is like. Really, really black, so that's all grey there and white. It's not bad. So, you know, um, wow. So, guys, so if we, so we've got, so if we look at the Dead Orbit Resurrection, 
This should be solid, solid blacks and whites. Could be totally wrong, yeah. That's not bad, but to be honest, it's not close to the others. So, for me guys, it's between the original, it's between uh, this monochromatic, yeah, and it is between this uh, Precursor Vex, Chrome. Which I just think it's got a quality to it. Oh, I don't know. It's, yeah, like that, that looks really cool. Anyway, guys, um, we'll leave it there. I, I appreciate the time you spent watching this. Another 25 minutes. That's about right for these these uh, reviews. Um, but I mean, I hope you think that dude looks cool. So, what are your my favourites? The Precursor Vex, which is this one. Um, monochromatic um, for you know I, I, I just love monochromatic on most things it's really good um, so it's, it's basically kept the white but it's replaced the the cro uh, the gold with uh, with you know matte black so the visor the the stomach area the glove lining and all that stuff or you've got the original color guys and you got the you got the original Vanguard unity color and this is how it looks at the moment so they're my three favourites. If you had to vote between those three, let me know what you, you know, type out the name. Let me know what it would be. Um, but in the meantime, you know, this is what, um, this is what a character looks like, guys. You know, um, I think he's doing all right. I think he's, I think he's doing all right, guys. I'll be honest. Um, I think it looks pretty damn cool. I'm looking very looking forward to Forsaken, guys. Um, I'm hoping there'll be people to do some of the older raids with me to get finally finish Escalation Protocol and get all the armor because I love all the armor sets. We've got lots of new stuff coming, all new weapons. I'm back now, guys. I'm back on Destiny. There'll be lots of uploads, all new levels. I'm going to play Game Through. I'm going to play Strikes Through. I'm going to play Gambit Through for you. It's all going to get recorded. Any armor sets to get you're going to get them all. So guys, please feel free to share my channel. Um, I've been floating around 450 subs for a long time. I'd like to grow it, considering the fact that I've got hundreds of thousands of views in total. I'd really like to, to grow the channel. Um, hit the notification buttons to make sure you do get subbed uh, so you get my videos notified to you, and I'll start mentioning that at the beginning of videos. Guys, I hope you all had a great weekend. hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon for the next one. So cheers.